me so long to fix. Guys, I think I know what I want to build. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with something that's not silly, not stupid, and it's actually quite useful, which is to build a portfolio website. I've built quite a few on this channel, and I always find portfolio websites a great way to be creative because it's such a simple concept, but everyone's portfolio website is quite different. So today, tonight, I wanted to challenge myself and try and come up with a very unique portfolio website, something that kind of doesn't really exist. So that's the whole point of today, try and have fun and create a portfolio website. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. The first step is to figure out the concept of our portfolio website. So I've applied a few projects on my YouTube channel. I have stuff like a Pomodoro app, my German language learning app. So I want to display all of these different coding projects. Instead of it being on YouTube, I want to put it in my portfolio website, along with things like what tech stack did I use, basic concept of what the app is about, along with difficulty levels, make it cozy and cute. That's step one. A basic idea of what I want my app to be. So step two is going to be to try and design it. What could make the design unique? I really like cozy game designs like Animal Crossing. I love listening to the music of the game or just looking at the designs. How do I make this into a portfolio website? Guys, I think I know what I want to build. So I was on Pinterest, like one usually is, and then I looked at some random iPad designs because I knew I was going to use my iPad, so I wanted to reorganize my iPad because I got distracted, whatever. And then it hit me. I was like, what if I just use my iPad as inspiration? So what if I create a website that looks just like the iPad design, like this design right here, where we can have toolbars down here would be the different projects that I have. So every time I click on something like this, it would open up a project. Not a bad idea. Okay, let's try and draw it out on iPad. Guys, we have our design ready. I'm excited to show it to you. I really like this light baby pink cozy theme. I'm going to create a kind of transparent, like a low opacity toolbar here. Everything here is different project icons. Here I'm going to have the notes, which is information about the project. This is going to be a tech stack. I put a very ugly JavaScript logo here, but this can be different logos. If I have deployed the website or if I have a domain, I can link the website here. This will be a YouTube link. That's all I came up with. I couldn't really think of anything else to put in this website. I know it looks super simple, but I don't overwhelm myself with a very complicated design. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it will look nicer in the final code. it kind of working not really i mean the design doesn't look correct at all but it kind of looks similar to what i was thinking of so currently i have the basic react app set up and i have a bunch of components actually just two components so i decided to start off with the toolbar which is the bar which will contain all of the projects and i want to try and get it working first functionally and then we can try and make the ui nicer later so currently i'm able to toggle between the two projects just having two projects for testing right now this project's config file contains all of the information about this project and everything that I'm going to need to display in my portfolio website. Everything is in one file just because that's a lot cleaner. So if I add in another one, it would create a third project for me. Okay, looks not bad. Now the next step is to make it look a lot like the design that we had come up with. So we're going to try and work on that now. Whether you're someone who already knows how to code or you're learning how to code, you just like building things and you're watching a lot of coding tutorials, I'm going to talk about Scrimba, who also the sponsors of this video. If you're tired of just watching coding tutorials and want to actually build things as you learn, Scrimba interactive platform is a game changer. You can pause the lessons, jump into the code right in your browser and experiment alongside the instructor. It's hands-on from the start, which is what I think makes the huge difference. And here's a really exciting part. 
Scrimba now offers full-stack courses. If you have been wanting to go beyond front-end and dive into back-end with Node, Express, SQL, or frameworks like Next.js, they've got you covered. The new full-stack courses are project-based, which means that they're not just learning theory, you're building real apps for your portfolio as you go. Most of Scrimba's content is free to try, so you can see if it's a good fit for you. And if you want to unlock pro courses, including their brand new 100 plus hour full stack developer path that's available from June 16th, the pro plan is super affordable. If you're serious about becoming a full stack developer or just want to upskill yourself, definitely check out Scrimba in the link in the description box below. And you can even get yourself some really cool discounts by clicking on it. Okay, it's the next day and it looks not correct. Let me show you what it looks like. It took me so long to fix a weird tailwind issue because somehow the CSS was just messing up and then I ended up fixing it by adding uh, this script, like using the tailwind C CDN instead of being able to import it. I have no idea why. There's some weird issue with my Node version and tailwind, some nonsense, but it seems like the CSS works. So this is what it looks like right now. It's not at all what the actual app it's supposed to look like because it doesn't really look like the iPad right now. But let me make this bigger. My main objective was to get this looking like the iPad and it does and works. I wanted the status bar at the top and the background as well, just small things. Now it's going to be time to convert these into the design that we had come up with. So I want it to look kind of like this, something like these components. I'm going to try and create multiple different components so that I can import in all of the information into them. Tired, but we're going to make it look good. Finally have something that looks not horrible. I think I'm done. So this is what it looks like. This was my aspiration and this is the final product. Not bad. Like two hours of work. It looks like iPad design. It's not the best, but we have all of the different information related to the projects. I just have two projects currently. This is the second Cozy Pomodoro project. I linked to this project. So I decided to add codes for now. These designs are created using CSS. For the tech stack, I was lazy to find individual logos for different tech types. There's so much to improve, but at least as like a basic template, it's not horrible. What I want to work on next is actually to be able to fetch individual projects and create project configuration files using my YouTube channel, automatically create the project configuration files so I don't need to manually create them. I want it to appear automatically instead of me having to manually do something. That's the way to add automation. I also want to make the UI look nicer. I don't think it looks that nice right now. This is a really fun idea. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. Check out Scrimba in the link down below. I will see you in the next one.